It's Monday, June 3rd, 2024. Let's talk about the news. From the New York Times, Trump guilty on all counts in hush money case. Former president and current presidential candidate Trump was convicted of all 34 felony counts that he was charged with in a New York case that centered around falsifying business documents to conceal hush money payments made in 2016 when he was initially running for president. This is big news in part because this is the first time in U.S. history that a former president has been convicted of a felony, and in part because this is the only case against Trump out of four total ongoing cases that is likely to culminate before the November election. And this outcome, depending on who you listen to, will either rally Trump's supporters to his side or cause vital independent votes to drift away in favor of Biden or in favor of simply not voting for anyone. In either case, influencing the outcome of that contest in a potentially significant way. From Reuters, South Africa's ANC facing coalition as election ends decades of dominance. For the first time since the end of apartheid in the country, South Africa's African National Congress, or ANC party, has not won a majority of the vote, which will force it to build a coalition government with another party or parties. In 2019, the ANC claimed 57.5% of the vote, and this time around it looks like it'll have around 40%. So this represents a significant drop in support, and that drop is being attributed in part to the party's seeming inability to rein in corruption and crime, and keep the lights on, the nation long-suffering regular power outages. Markets have been responding to this outcome cautiously, as depending on which smaller party or parties the ANC decides to form a government with, South Africa could become more, or substantially less, business-friendly. And from Bleeping Computer, U.S. dismantles 911S5 botnet used for cyber attacks and arrests admin. The U.S. Justice Department has announced that it, in collaboration with law enforcement entities from around the world, have taken down what seems to be the world's biggest botnet, the 911-S5 botnet, and arrested its administrator in Singapore. This botnet, which was formed by installing malware on victims' computers, usually via malicious VPN software, allowed its controller to create a network of more than 19 million compromised devices access to which was sold to clients for all sorts of criminal behaviors, including fraud, harassment, bomb threats, and child exploitation. The botnet's administrator faces a maximum penalty of 65 years in prison if convicted on all counts. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects, like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts, at understandery.com.